deeds against them. Nah, man. Hey, when it says I, when you go to uh, where the deeds are located, man, that's speaking on Russia, man. And that 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 area mass, hey, where the means used to dwell, that's speaking on Russia in today's time. Man. Uh, uh, which shall not regard silver as for gold, they shall be not like delight in it. Nah, man. So hey. These these other nations, hey, speaking on Russia mainly, you know, they said that they shall not regard silver or gold, man. And that day, hey, they said that your riches shall profit none. Hey, so it doesn't matter how much money you got, it doesn't hey. They're they're not even uh they're not gonna care how much America tries to pay them. Hey, don't bomb us or what hey, whatever the case may be. Hey, they're not gonna regard money. Since their bows also shall dash the young men to pieces. Come, man. Hey, those, those missiles shall dash. Hey, men to pieces over here, man. And they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Come, man. They shall have no pity on the kids. Hey, well, they're not going to care how many children are over here in America, man. Hey, they're going to send those missiles and destruction is going to come. The eyes shall not spare children. Come. And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms. Come, and this is Babylon, man. No, hey, which is uh, considered the glory of kingdoms, man. That's why America is considered the greatest country in the world. You know? Hey, this they said this is the glory of kingdoms. This is where all nations hey, want to be like, man. They want to be successful like America. Yeah. The beauty of the ch Chalites. Hey, Chalites. Hey, they said this is the beauty of the Chalites speaking on you elites, man. Hey, you actually think this, hey, this is the most beautiful thing to have on the earth. Excellency. Shall be as when your power overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Come, man. He said, hey, this place shall be as uh, when when the Lord hey, threw down Sodom and Gomorrah. And how did the Lord throw down Sodom and Gomorrah, man? With fire and brimstone. You no. Know? Hey, this is gonna be this place is gonna go out with fire and brimstone too. God. Isaiah chapter 13, verse 19. Shall never be inhabited. Nah, man, it shall never be inhabited, man. Hey, America will not be dwelt in again. After this nuclear destruction, after World War III has passed. Neither should it be dwelt in from generation to generation. Nah, like I spoke over about earlier, man. If we go look over here in America, hey, this is gonna be a monument. Hey, a, a, a what what a wicked kingdom is. Neither should all the Arabian pitch tent there. God, man. Hey, there will be no houses. There will be no no shelters over here, man. Neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. God, man. But the wild beasts of the desert shall lie there. God, man. Hey, so the wild beasts of the desert, that's the only thing that's going to be dwelling in America. Oh. And the houses shall be full of dogs and creatures. God. And out. And dwell there. So dwell there. And that's it. And dance there. Nah, man. Hey, America should not be dwelling in the end. This is Isaiah chapter 9, verse 5. It says, For every battle of the war is a huge sword. And gold is gold and blood. But this shall be the fire and fuel of fire. God is saying every battle of the war is the fuel of noise and garments rolled in blood. It's back in the ancient days, hey, when we used to go to war, man, hey, you would get up on somebody with an actual sword, man. Hey, so it left your, your garments drenched out in blood. But it said, bring it back up. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Hey, but this war shall be with burning and fuels of fire, man. That's right. Hey, being those missiles, man, hey, those, uh, those gunfire, man. Hey, those nuclear, the nuclear destruction, man. Hey, this one's gonna be a war. Hey, shot. Hey, this gonna be a war fighter, man. So, Book of Isaiah, chapter 54, verse 16. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals and the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument. God, the Lord said he hath created the smith. Hey, it's God. That's me. Hey, he has created the smith. Hey, because a smith is somebody uh, who create weapons, man. 
you know, they instruct weapons. Hey, so the Lord said he has created the smith, man. Hey, and what the Lord put the spirit on those uh, German scientists, hey, to split the atom. Right. You know, to uh, to make the nuclear bomb. Right. And I have created the waster to destroy. God, the waster, man. What's the waster, man? Hey, these ICM beam nuclear uh, missiles, man. That's right. And every tongue that shall rise and be seen in judgment, thou shalt condemn. God. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and the righteousness is of me, says the Lord. God, man, so every tongue that shall come against uh, his prophets, man, I wish it condemned them. Hey, but going back, hey, the Lord, so the Lord is behind this, man. Hey, World War III, man, hey, the Lord is, hey, he, he, he takes part in everything, man. Uh, as I was saying, you know, uh, uh, the scripture he brought out, that's basically the Lord taking credit. You know, he said, I um, built them snips up, all right? He gave them that, um, was able to, um, that's what he spit them out of, man. He made that nuclear, man. That's the book of Sirach, chapter 38, verse 6. And he giveth men skill, that he might be honored in his marvelous works. That's the perfect precept, man. Hey, so the Lord put the spirit on these scientists to do this, man. It's like, um... Uh, Hey, the Lord put the spirit on, on the so-called white man to create the guns. Yeah. Hey, because uh, he, couldn't, he couldn't fuck with the uh, Native Americans without the guns, man. You know? Hey, the Lord had to, the Lord had to put the spirit on it, man. Hey, but because Esau is blessed with the sword, man. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 15, verse 14. Put yourself in a ray against Babylon. Round the belt, all ye that bend the bow, shoot at her. Nah. Spare no arrows. Nah, man. So the Lord said, "Hey, put your ray against Babylon, man. Hey, all these other nations are gonna uh, come against this uh, American people, man. Hey, they're not gonna spare any arrows. I mean, they're gonna they're not gonna spare any missiles, man. For well, she has sinned against the Lord. God, because this place has sinned against Yahweh, man. Hey, uh." Get, uh, part of Jeremiah 16 and 14. 14. Book of Jeremiah, chapter 16, verse 14. Therefore, behold, the days come, said the Lord, that it shall not more be said. Why they were pushing cocaine at the same time? 
but getting a lighter sentence. That's an um, unrighteous decree. Letting you know who the devil is, man. Right? That, uh, that old Isaiah 10 Book of Isaiah chapter 10, verse 1. Woe to them that decree unrighteous decrees. Nah, man, an unrighteous decree is just an unrighteous law. That's an unrighteous law, man. Hey, for them to um, for them to lock our people up, and then hey, when the same circumstances happens to there, and they push for treat. That's an unrighteous law. And that right grievousness which they have prescribed. Nah, man. The right grievousness which they have prescribed. Uh, somebody get me on Daniel 8 uh, 25. Daniel chapter 8, verse 25, it says, And through his policies also he shall, call, he shall cause crap to, to prosper God, in his man. land, in his hand. God, man. Hey, through his policies he shall also cause crap to prosper, man. And that's that's what the so-called white man has done. Hey, through his policies, man, he has, he has caused wickedness to prosper in this kingdom, man. Hey, the wicked prosper around here, man. Hey, that's why you got um, these drug dealers. Hey, why you always see uh, the tough ass drug dealers with most of the women, man? Hey, cause hey, wickedness prosper in this place, man. Hey, but wickedness has a rule in it, man. Hey, cause hey, cause what it says, uh, the Lord is slow to um, slow to anger. Yeah, he's slow to anger, man. Hey, so when the, when you sin in the Lord, just don't judge him right there. Good, you know he good. Hey, but the Lord let you build up your tag. The Lord let you build up your tag, man. And, and, and he smites your ass. Hey, but the point I was getting to, man, hey, this devil, he, he lets, um, he let wickedness prosper, man, with his policies, man. Hey, that's why, um, hey, these private jail systems, man, that, that's wicked, man. Hey, where you getting, um, uh, paid, when, hey, what was that, um, uh, uh, sitting down who was watching? When the brother was, uh, sitting he got kicked out of the party. Yeah. Yeah, when her brother was a brother who got kicked out of, uh, a business party, but it was uh, going in on to hip hop. This was back in the uh, early, early 1980s. You know, the brother got kicked out, but they was this was private prisons, privacy, uh, private prison systems was coming into play. You know, hey, they used hip hop hey, to fill the prison systems up, man. Hey, cause uh, in the beginning of hip hop, it was uh, more of a um, of a uh, inspirational yeah, feeling, man. You know, it was to uplift our people. Hey, but this uh, the so-called white man, hey, he pushed towards gangster music. Hey, that's why over the years he said, hey, after they had this meet, he said that over a, a, a duration of a few months, hey, that most of the uh, radio sw stations switched to gangster music, man. Hey, because music works on a uh, certain certain frequency, man. You know, hey, when you hear something that's being rapped, hey, you be more willing to go do it. It was a, uh, a brother. It was a brother who uh, go, that's the name of him, but he used to go uh, visit prisons. Hey, and he used to ask the kids, hey, what was you doing right before you committed your crime? And most of them said that they were uh, listening to their favorite rapper right before that. You know, hey, because this devil knows, hey, that music is a way to get on your mind. Hey, that's a wicked policy that this yes. devil has. Devices, you don't gotta bring it up. But hey, we are not uh, ignorant of Satan devices, man. Hey, this devil has all type of ways to come at you, man. Even with the um, with the um, the medicine business, man. You got um, the pharmacies, man. Hey, um, you know the word pharmacy actually means goes back to the uh, the Latin word pharmaceutical. I mean pharmacy. Hey, which means witchcraft, man. Hey, so they put it right in front of your face. You know, you go to the doctor. Hey, that doctor is actually uh, giving you wit. Hey, it's a it's a syndrome of witchcraft, man. Back in um the early 1900s, most doctors were going under uh natural natural medicine, man, from the uh, herbs and 
stuff like that, man, from the earth. But the Rockefellers, man, he uh, put a plan. He started actually blocking doctors up for uh, using natural chemical, natural medicine, man. Killing doctors. Yeah, killing doctors off, man, and for using natural medicine. You know, hey, that was to push this pharmaceuticals, man. It's um, I think it's sixty percent of the um, sixty percent of America uh, population are on um, are on uh, pharmacy. Okay. Yeah, are on some type of um, medical uh, man, what's the word on? Prescription. Nah, they are on some type of medical prescription, man. <coughs> The so called white man, he's the real drug dealer. Right? He's the real uh, wizard, man. Okay? I'm, uh, this book of Sirach, chapter 38, verse 4. The Lord hath created medicines out of the earth, and he that is wise will not abhor them. Nah, man. Hey, he that is wise will not abhor them. Hey, that's why uh, the Rothschilds hey, switched the uh, American population hey, to, to, avoid, to avoid natural herbs, man. Hey, that was wicked, man. Hey, because this damn devil, everything in the world, that's the earth. The earth is, hey, got everything that you need right here in the earth, man. Hey, let you know, hey, that we're under the devil's rulership, man. When you look around the streets, you have concrete suffocating the whole goddamn earth. The earth is one. Yeah. Yeah, one one with the earth, man. Okay, like the earth is 70% made of water. Okay, so it's our bodies, man. Okay, so we have to, uh, you know, everything is out of uh, out of course, man. All right, the earth is out of course, man. Meaning what? We're going to be out of course too. Hey, let like, you know um, why uh, there's so many Roman pagan holidays going on in America, man. We go from uh, Christmas to Easter, uh, Mother's Day, Halloween. Father's Day, it all, it all go back to a Roman pagan holiday, man. Hey, let you know that um, the descendants of Rome are the same, are the same so-called white people that's over here in America, man. You know, hey, um, because Rome was known for their highways too, man. Hey, Rome was built just like America, man. It was known for their long streets, concrete streets. Hey, and let you know, hey, Rome was also uh, constructed. One of the reasons that Rome fell was because it was uh, too dependent on slave work. Hey, that's America for you, man. Hey, um, Rome fell because of financial um, financial troubles, man. Hey, and that's why that's, that's why the dollar's gonna crash, man. Depression. Yeah, the Great Depression, man. Hey, it's gonna be like no other, man. Confusion, man. Hey, look, that's the spirit. See, that's the spirit. We were just talking about these lands, these fucking roads, man. And this is not supposed to be set up like that. Okay? What the hell with these demons, man? We don't give a damn. You know? That's Babylon, man. Yeah, that's that is confusion, man. Okay? You got uh, the so called black man that want to be white. Alright? You got the so called white boy, they want to be Jake now. You know? It's all out of place, man. Yeah. And that's why, uh, that's why, man, you gotta have a spiritual, uh, a spiritual ear for what's going on right now, man. <laughs> hey, because everything that happens over here is spiritual, man. Hey, you gotta know, you gotta uh, be able to discern everything, man. Because everything has been uh, flipped around in this society, man. That's why when you come into the truth, you gotta unlearn everything that you thought you knew. You know? You come as a babe, right? Because that's uh, you don't know anything, right? Chapter 1, verse 25. That's a spirit. It says, Who changed the truth of Yahweh into a lie and worship and serve the preacher? Nah, man. Who, who changed the truth of Yahweh into a lie, man? And that's what the society of this world has, has done, man. They have changed the truth, but they have tried to change the truth into a lie. Man, that's why uh, when you bring out the scriptures, hey, even when you uh, deal with these so called Christians who go to church, they have a certain ways of way that they think. But then when you pull out a scripture, hey, to cut everything that they uh saying is, then they tell you, hey, that's that's not my Jesus or uh, you know, that's not how uh 
That's not how that is. That's not what that scripture means. When you clearly bring it right out the scriptures, man. Hey, because this society has changed the truth of the Bible into a lie. Who changed the truth of Yahweh into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator? Come on, man. And, you, and that's what you have over here in America a lot, man. You have a, a, a lot of idol worship, man. Hey, just recently what they made, a church of fiance. Man, hey, let you know that this place is to hell with, man. Hey, this place is finna come into destruction. They're actually, hey, it's actually a church built on worshiping Beyonce, man. And which that bitch is a demon. Dope. You know? That bitch is a goddamn demon, man. Hey, and she knows that we are Israelites too, man. Hey, people in an up high place like Jay-Z, Beyonce, hey, they are not sleep to this, man. They had just sold their soul over. Man. Who is blessed forever, I must. Nah, man. Hey, cause once you get to a um, a certain level, once you get to a certain level of money, man, there's certain rituals that you have to go through to keep that fortune. You know, there's certain doors that you have to open. Man. You know, um, what was that? What was this? Hey, the first one is side of my. Uh, that, that's the ultimate. Yeah, okay. You know, hey, we was just listening to a brother from uh, GMS Kansas, man. Hey, he said, hey, we were speaking on how the ultimate a hey, ritual is to pop a young boy in his ass, man. Hey, cause sodomite is the biggest, um, the biggest ritual of, the, of these elites, man. And they do everything contrary to the Bible. So, and that's how we know they say that America is a, uh, is a uh, God fearing country, man. But that's it's it's the exact opposite of a God fearing country. Over here in America, man, America has legalized homosexuality, and this is the exact opposite of the Bible. Man. Hey, uh, these so called uh, Christian pastors, man, they go home to a goddamn plate of pork every day. And they do everything contrary to the Bible. And those, those are false prophets that the Bible speaks of, man. So Leviticus chapter 20, verse 13. If a man also lied with mankind, as he lied with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They should surely be put to death. The blood should be upon them. Nah, man. Hey, they should surely be put to death, man. Hey, in the um, ancient days, man, when there were uh, homosexuals out of the... Uh, out that we see, man, we would put them to death, man. And hey, we're not telling brothers to go do that. And hey, because we're in captivity over here. Hey, so your ass will be under the jail cell. It's not wise to act like that. But we just telling you that it, it, it's a righteous thing. You know? And that's why America has to be destroyed, man. It's right. just wicked, man. Hey, this place is too fucking wicked. And hey, the, uh, the Lord said that he has his eye upon the simple king. And this is a simple king. Book of Matthew chapter 10 verse 16. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Come on, man. So the Lord said that he sends them forth as sheep in the midst of wolves, man. Hey, because this world is full with hey, wolves, man. Hey, ready to eat the righteous up. Be ye therefore wise as serpent and harmless as doves. Come, hey, you gotta be wise in this thing because the serpent is harmless as a dove, man. Hey, because it's a certain way that you have to um um conduct yourself. Come. It's a certain way that you have to conduct yourself in this truth, man. Yeah, you, even though you hate the so-called white man. It's not wise to uh yeah, be at your job talking about fuck the so-called white man. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. that'll get your ass fired. Yeah, even though you know the so-called white man is born in captivity, it's not wise to be. Get pulled over by the police, screaming and yelling at the top of your damn lungs. That's your Lord's faith. It's not right. It's a certain way that you gotta uh, conduct yourself in this thing, man. Yeah, you're supposed to use the wisdom and apply it, man. Okay? And be harmless at the dub, man. You don't have to beat up these little fucking eating mites, man. Hey, don't worry about that shit, man. Hey, uh, okay? like I said in the book of Zephaniah, wait. Wait for me. Wait upon me, man. <laughs> hey, you got to be, uh, it's a certain way you gotta uh you gotta conduct yourself and move around in this truth, man. You know? Hey, cause we, we have no power on this side, man. Hey, we we, we create no laws. Hey, we, we can't um we can't even keep the laws hundred percent over here, man. Hey, it's certain things that we can't do, we can't keep every Sabbath. Hey, brothers gotta work on certain Sabbaths, man. You know, hey, that's why the uh, scriptures say, hey, keep the uh laws to the best of your abilities, man. No. It's the book of Judges, chapter 5 and 11. There they have, they that delivered from the noise of the archers in the place of drawing water, therefore 
shall thou rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord, even the righteous acts toward the inhabitants of the villages of Israel. Then shall the people of the Lord go down to the gates. Amen. Hey, the point of that being, hey, we shall rehearse the righteous acts, man. Hey, so we're not going to uh, willfully sin. Hey, we're not going to uh, just go out and eat a goddamn plate of pork, man. Hey, like these uh, these so-called Christians are doing, man. Hey, those Christians are done for, it, man. Um, if we can get some of that off in that Jeremiah, that twenty-third chapter. Give me uh, give me uh, Acts. Uh, wait a second. Chapter 7, verse 48. It says, How be it the most high dwelleth not in temples made with hands? Nah, so the Lord said that he, dealt, he dwells not with temples made with hands, man. Hey, so these church buildings, and the Lord said he's not dwelling in those buildings, man. Right. Hey, like we said, hey, the Lord said that um wisdom crieth out in the streets. You know? Hey, so you're gonna find the true prophets on the streets teaching, man. The Lord bring it back. How be it the most high dwelleth not? And temples made with hands, as said the prophets. Heaven is my heaven is my throne, and earth is my footstool. What house will you build me? Said God. the Lord. God, the Lord said that heaven is his throne and the earth is his footstool. What house can you build the Lord, man? Hey, so you can't build you can't build a uh, wicked ass church and say that hey, that's the Lord that the Lord dwells in there. Hey, was the Lord dwelling in that church? That uh Dylan is where that white boy came and shot and killed eight people? Dylan Roof. Dylan Roof. Hey, the Lord, hey, the only reason that happened because the Lord was not dealing with them, man. You know? Hey, because he can't, you know, the Lord's not going to let that devil come up here and shoot us down like that. Right. Yeah, you're going to slavery, cracker. Hey, but you know what? That's the spirit because I was just about to bring this up, okay? Like when the brother said, um, the Lord let Dylan Roof go in that church, they killed us so called black people, man. Okay, why is that? Because the Lord wasn't in that church, man. And guess what they seen when they see that little white boy coming to that church? They see this image. Okay? This is not Jesus Christ, man. Okay? This is Cesar Boisier, man. Okay, this is a real man. A wicked man. A, a, a faggot, man. Okay? He gave herpes to his sister, man. He was an incest, man. Okay, and that's what they see. And they welcomed him. They welcomed that damn devil with open arms, man. They said, you know what? Let him in, man. They were smiling, man. And while he was, and while they was teaching, so-called teaching the people the scriptures inside the church, man, he was in the church for what? 30 to 45 minutes before he killed all of them, man. So he heard everything. He heard him saying, well, you're our brother, and we got to come together. But guess what? The devil wasn't trying to hear that shit, man. And he killed everybody, man. Showing you the minds of the so-called white man. He's a backstabber, man. Okay? All right, he's a backstabber, man. <laughs> right, and the, and the Lord is a so-called black man. The devil's mad. He's mad when he sees this image because he know the truth too. Okay. It's Job chapter 9, verse 24. It says, The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. God, it says, The earth is given into the hands of the wicked, man. Hey, who is ruling the world right now, man? When you when you think about any race of people ruling the world, who, who can you say, man? It's not the so called black man, Hispanic or Native American. It's not the Chinese man. It's not the Arab man. Hey, it's the so called white man. Hey, so it said, the, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Nah, man. It said he covered the faces of the judges thereof, man. Hey, that's what this devil did, man. He covered the faces of the judges. You no, know, hey, the prophets of the Most High. You no, know, and that's what they go down to uh, the 1600s. You no, know, the Renaissance era. I think that was in the 1400s. 
came right after the Dark Ages. They call it the Dark Ages because the Israelites were ruling Europe for a thousand years, man. Hey, the Renaissance era is when these devils came back into play. They came back into power. The word Renaissance just means uh, rebirth. Hey, they had a rebirth of the kingdom, man. Yeah, you can read about that in a few places. You know, hey, this is the devil that the Bible speaks of, hell, man. The hell with. Hell with. It says First Maccabees, um, chapter what's that, three, verse forty-eight, and lay open the book of the law, wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. Come and they lay open the book of the law. That's what the heathen. Painted the likeness of their images, man. That's why you have uh, who the world called Jesus Christ. You know, that's why you have them depicted as a white man. You got um, all the prophets from Paul to um, Ezekiel to Elijah, they're all depicted as white men, man. Hey, that's because the heathen opened the book of the law and painted it in their likeness. Hey, when they took us down in Europe, you know, hey, they went in. 